Okay, I'm going to talk today about a sort of controversial subject because um, antibiotics for poultry is totally banned in California, and the most effective ones are banned or not approved in the United States. There are two that are actually used uh, for the most common infection of poultry, which is toxoplasmosis, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. The, um, the symptoms of toxoplasmosis in poultry are um, either a nasal discharge and sneezing, or um, a failure to thrive and gain weight, or a swelling of the hip joints, which leads to lameness, and the, the poults will kind of just be uh, wobbly. They'll fall back. They'll, they, can't, they, they can't stand up. It's like, it's weird. They, they just can't stand up. They fall backwards, and eventually they, all, they always die. I, I've had several uh, die of lameness, and recently had one sneeze until it died, and so I got some antibiotic. And um, what I got here is spiromycin, 50%. Um, it, I'm not going to say where I got it. I'm not going to leave links. Um, it was not sold for poultry use. So you can see here I've weighed out um, 0.25 grams on this digital scale, which is 250 milligrams. It's about half <clears throat> of a one-eighth uh, teaspoon measuring spoon. And um, I would put that for these small poults, I would use 250 milligrams per gallon of water. For the adults, I would use 400 milligrams per gallon of water. And um, I would put it in their water supply and give it to them for three days. Um, you, um, I've seen uh, government studies, which uh, like I think USDA or something, which did a a trial um, 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams per bird I think it was chickens they were doing and it was totally effective in one dose uh, 100 to 200 milligrams depending on the weight of the bird I think um, for um, curing um, the symptoms of toxoplasmosis with evidence as of evidence by sneezing and nasal discharge so um, anyway so that's these birds these little poults it's the middle of October I still have these little babies it's crazy but uh, anyway um, I'm treating them and um, I've already treated the rest of my flock. It's important that you clean the enclosures anywhere they are because it's um, the bacteria that, that causes this disease is, um, is spread from a sick bird to a healthy bird. It's in the eggs, it's in the manure. So any, um, any basically poop on the ground will be carrying it and it will reinfect them. So it's really important to thoroughly clean the enclosures, the waters, everything. There can't be anything. Anything that's dry, pretty much the, the uh, bacteria will be dead within a matter of hours, but um, you can't have any, any feces on the ground. And um, you also, you know, you don't, you don't want to let there be any contact between untreated birds and treated birds. So you want to treat them all before they have contact with one another. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, I'm keeping these babies all together. And my other birds, like I said, have already been treated. Um, <clears throat> there's one, at least one of these is sneezing right now. I don't know if I already mentioned it in this video, but I did have several die of, of lameness. Um, they just kind of wobbled around until they died. I did have one or maybe two that just kind of didn't thrive, that just kind of never gained weight and died after a certain point. And um, I had one recently uh, that was just sneezing until it died. So I decided to get this. Um, the other antibiotic I think that is approved in the United States, although not available in California, no antibiotics are for poultry, unfortunately, but um, is uh, called Tylosin, T-Y-L-O-S-I-N. Um, that one's pretty effective. Um, in the studies, it, it was, I think, 85 to 92% effective in one dose versus 100% for the spiromycin. So anyway, um, I hope this is helpful for somebody. I'm not telling you to do this. I'm not telling, I'm not suggesting that you do this because like I said, this is not an approved antibiotic in the United States. Um, I'm just telling you what I've done and uh, my other birds will look a lot better, a lot healthier. Um, it's really seemed to perk them up to give them the antibiotic. I think they were just kind of always fighting the um, toxoplasmosis off, even though it really only kills weaker birds, but still it'll, it'll, it's taxing on even the healthy ones to be exposed to have that infection to have to keep it down in their body so they just seem to be a lot more energetic and happy after i gave it to them so um, hopefully i don't have any more problems in the spring um, now that my hands have been treated hopefully they don't pass it in the egg but i'm not going to treat any birds in the spring and i'm just going to wait and see if i have any symptoms and i'll make a follow-up video at that point so i hope this has been helpful for somebody and thank you for watching